Hey, what's up guys? It's Power Bang. Welcome back to another Brawl Stars video. It's been a few days since I've posted this, but we had a major update just happen. Unannounced. Welcome back to the office, Supercell. I believe they've been out on their mandated summer vacations over there. Big shout outs to Finland and their, uh, their awesome laws. That is amazing. I'm a little bit jealous, not gonna lie. But we just had a tweet go out from Brawl Stars saying there's maintenance. We're going to go through the changes, the nerfs, the buffs, the different changes to Showdown, uh, the changes to the coins and how much you can get from the different events that are released. We're going to go through all that here in just a moment, guys. But first, the intro. And done. All right, so if we go over to the news section, guys, the daily brawler, so to speak, we have a whole bunch of changes uh, that have been released in the release notes August 11th, which is right now. It's been August 11th where I'm at for about 30 minutes. So what is new? First and foremost, matchmaking changes. This is a, a, a big win, guys. I don't know about you, but I was very tired of going up against Triple Piper or Triple Shelly or whatever it happened to be, it always seemed like the counter uh, or the other team uh, composition countered whatever map you were on. It, I don't know. I just had the worst luck with going up against three of the same people. Um, and if not that, even two of the same people, like two Pipers, was really, really hard to overcome if you had, uh, you know, like range characters and stuff that were really fragile. So, matchmaking changes. Duplicate brawlers of, or duplicates of the same brawler on the same team will very rarely occur now in matchmaking. Now, they're saying that it's basically not going to happen if you have any uh, trophies at all, except for in very, very rare scenarios, I would imagine if there's just nobody in the queue. And they want to shorten up those matchmaking times, maybe you'll get somebody else. But for the most part, it looks like that's a thing of the past. It says, note though, players in low trophy games still will encounter duplicates. So you got to progress past like you know, the baby steps. I get out of kindergarten first before you start playing with all the, you know, the other kids. So the improvements have also been made to matchmaking balance. So that's a little bit vague. We don't know exactly what is meant by that change, but I would assume that there's going to be uh, more comparable, you know, compositions on each side that are that are for better games. We'll have to wait and see on that one. I may post back in the future on that particular change. We also have, and this is where it gets really crazy, and that is the character balance. Ricochet, his health has been increased from 600 or to 600 from 500. So if we bounce over to uh, Ricochet over here, you can see that at max level now. 750 hit points for Ricochet. This definitely puts him into the viable category as this dude can put out some serious, serious damage. You can see right here, 100 damage per bullet, and he can fire a lot of bullets at the same time, guys. So Ricochet, I expect to see a lot more use moving forward. Next up is El Primo. He has had his health increased to 1,400 from 1,300. Now, that puts his uh, his max HP, that's going to be kind of crazy, actually. Where is Primo? There he is. His max HP now, 1,750 hit points out of the gate. That is the most in the game, and an absolute crazy amount to have for a brawler, but I do think that this change was necessary. Ever since Piper was introduced into the game, Primo kind of lost his sweet spot. He no longer had a kind of a place, because Piper could just mow him down so quickly. He was a big body with big hitboxes and couldn't really dodge or move, and Piper was able to just completely shut him down. With these additional hit points, Piper can now land three shots, and a max health primo will not go down to her. So that's, uh, that's pretty interesting news right there. Next up, we've got Brock. Now, Brock is probably the biggest change of all brawlers as far as the nerfs and buffs are concerned. His super now shoots a total of nine rockets from six, and he shoots them faster. He also has a bigger area of effect. So think like Barley. We're going to look at some of these changes on the battlefield in just a moment right after we go through them. In addition, we have Mortis. Mortis now has his health decreased to 700 from 800 where it was before. And if we take a look at Mortis, his health at max uh, level was 1000. It is now 875. So that's a significant nerf that, that, now, that, ugh, that now makes it so a Piper at close range may be able to take him out in two shots depending on how far he is away. Whereas before, as he's dashing in close to her, he could finish the job before Piper's ammunition replenished, even assuming she lands all of her shots. So. 
interesting change there to Mortis. I would assume they're trying to limit the amount of times in Smash and Grab where he gets to the center of the arena, steals all of the crystals, and is able to hold them by himself for the remainder of the game. I like this change. I'm curious to see what it does to the meta because Mortis was a very, very common choice. Another uh, probably controversial change on this one, I think a lot of people really like Poco. Um, the decrease, they nerfed him. His main attack damage has gone to 140 now instead of 160. Now, personally, I like this change. I felt like Poco was a little bit too versatile as far as being able to play very defensively with a pretty long range on a, a zero skill attack. It literally just spams half the map in the direction that you're you know, facing. Or you can play very aggressively, and if somebody steps just an inch out of position, Poco can pressure them uh, until they die, especially when he's able to generate his super ability to reheal to full health. So if you check out his attack now, at max level, instead of doing 200 damage, it now does 175. So that's a pretty big change there for Poco. He will no longer be able to three-shot a lot of the weaker brawlers. All right, so next up, we've got Jesse. Now, this change for Jesse is a little bit baffling in my opinion. Jesse Super now charges 12.5% slower. That is a very, very significant change. 12.5%, um, she's going to have to land at least one extra shot now in order to generate that Super. And I really don't understand the reasoning behind this particular change, although the Supercell Brawl Stars team, I'm sure, has numbers and metrics to back this up. Personally, what I've seen on the battlefield so far is Jessie is not a widely used brawler. She does not have a high usage rate. And even in the game she is in, I don't feel like her super is necessarily a super huge problem as far as how much it's on the field. Um, it's more of like the range of her orb, I think, is... I don't even think it's a problem. I think Jessie was fine how she was. This is one of the changes I disagree with. So Jessie gets a nerf 12.5% slower on her super charge. Now, Nita... Nita got the nerf bat this time. Nita got 25% slower on her super, and this one I am kind of in agreement with because there were so many times, guys, where Nita's super, for those of you that are not aware, is the bear. You see I'm rocking the panda skin. Uh, but, geez louise, the super, you're able to generate a bear with 1,250 hit points that hits 125 damage per swipe, and he hits fast. So it's like this bear is super, super good, and it seems like if any shots are landed at all by the bear, there's another bear on the field right after you kill it. Like, it was just insane. So I feel like the change to Nita is good, although it is abrupt, and it is a little bit sad for those, like, really big Nita fans out there. So, moving on to game modes. Heist. They've decreased the health of the safes by a thousand. So on all heist maps, the safe is now weaker, swinging the advantage more to the offensive side. Seems like the team and probably the community itself felt like defense was a little bit too strong. People were able to hold on more often than not, the safe being at a very sliver of health, even though the game seemed to be dominated by the offense. Too many times the defense was winning those battles. Showdown. This is going to be a little interesting, and I'm going to have to go try this out to see what the changes are actually like. Power up boxes damage boost increased to 15% up from 5. This should benefit high range, low health brawlers, and even the playing field. So the damage boost increases, uh, you know, the brawlers that typically do much more damage. It bumps them up an additional 10%. So this is going to be a little bit interesting. We'll see if this actually does, uh, you know, actually increase the diversity of the brawlers that are in uh, Showdown. Um, I have my doubts on this one, but we'll have to play it and see and give it a fair shake. Now, economy changes. This is going to be a little bit interesting. They say that we wanted to make it a little bit easier and quicker to earn coins in short sessions, so we have increased the first win coin bonus. Now, I just picked up my first win coins here um, from Mushroom Cave, Showdown, and Crystal Cavern. You'll notice that these totals uh, for Event 1, the top slot here, Mushroom Cave, uh, that is no longer 60 coins in the uh, slots that you're able to get. It's now 52. Same thing in the second slot. It's down from 40 to 32. Third slot is down from, I believe, 16 to 12. Let me go check that one. Uh, yes, yeah, 16 to 12, and the same thing in the fourth slot. The first win bonus has changed from 4 to 8, uh, but the normal ch coins have changed from 20 to 16. So basically, all of the slots have come down on the number of total coins that you can get, but the bonus that you get for your first win for actually taking part in the event for the first time has increased. It's doubled for all of those events. Um, really interesting stuff, guys. Let's get into the gameplay now. I'm really curious to try some of this stuff out. First and foremost, you know I'm going for my man Brock. Check this out. His super, uh, 325 damage per rocket. He's firing nine rockets now over a pretty big range, guys. That's nearly 3,000 HP uh, in damage. So let's go ahead and go to Mushroom Cave. We'll go to Brawl. Let's pick Brock. 
Let's do it. So here we go. This is going to be a good look at uh, the Brock changes here. You can see uh, Mortis there, 770 HP. A little bit interesting. We're going to fire some stuff into the middle here. Boom. We're going to land some shots. Faux show. Um, it looks like Brock uh, lands two shots right off the bat, so that actually works out nicely. And we have them running right now, guys. We have them running scared. So... Bull gets, uh, Bull gets wrecked there. We're going to fire some shots here at Shelly as well and just kind of keep her at bay. Um, let's see here. We don't want to let Bull... Okay, let's test this out on a Bull. Here's Bull. Let's fire some shots. Look at all of those rockets, dude. That is insane. So, Shelly is waiting to try to, uh, to do her thing. That's fine. I'm going to generate another super here. So we're just going to fire some uh, we'll fire some rocket action right there. Shelly, you're done. I didn't even get the kill for that. It's kind of a bummer. So Mortis is noticeably weaker. You can see him kind of taking some damage there for sure. Um, we're going to fire one at Bull right there. Got oh, dude, the wall blocked it. The wall blocked it. That's okay, though. Here comes Mortis. We are going to hit him hard. And this is where I want to kind of... Right there. We'll, we'll go with the, uh, the deep shots there at Shelly. Yeah, there's definitely a much bigger spread now. And I don't know, man. The spread may kind of make the, the buff to Brock. I mean, it's definitely a good thing, right? Like, I think Brock is going to be very, very happy with the changes. Any Brock users out there um, are going to be happy with those changes for sure. That that missile just went right through Mortis. Oh, my God. So it's nine. They have nine. I'm going to have to start landing some shots on uh, Bull here. So, come to the center, baby. Okay, so there is that. Let's get some shots here. Ooh, we got Mortis as well. And we're going to get Bull, maybe. Is he going to run? He is going to run. He's got to run. No. So, we hit Mortis. We got him once. We're just trying to keep people off of the middle right now. And I don't know if I'm going to be successful doing that. We're just trying to keep Bull away, which we have done so far successfully. We got the countdown, but we still have to hold mid. I don't know if our team realizes. Um, yeah, they realize. I'm going to die. So I tried to save it there. Simply wasn't going to happen. Brock definitely noticeably bigger uh, area of effect on those uh, um, the super. So that's kind of interesting to see for sure. But I don't know if it's going to be a huge change, guys. I don't know. After playing it once, I don't know. But that, that bigger area of effect, it is going to be able to pin down people that are a little bit, uh, you know, that are weak, essentially. So let's go with uh, balance changes. What's new? Let's see who uh, Ricochet. We definitely got to play Ricochet. Let's go Feast or Famine. This is going to be funny. So Showdown. Ricochet. So this is where they all start at the same part of the map, guys. This is going to be really interesting. Um, I don't foresee this going well, but I'm going to give it a try. So we're going to see Showdown and Ricochet. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so here we go. 750. Oh my gosh. So we're trying to uh, hit Nita a little bit. That was actually pretty decent. Trying to spin and play teams, dude. So I'm I'm just gonna keep her at bay, or just die. Got him. Okay, cool. So I got some power ups. Let's see. Uh, apparently, 15% boost on these. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, guys. Let's see how strong I actually am. That's the question right now. He's taking down these uh, these boxes pretty fast, I will say. Um, I don't know. We're, so we're four brawlers left. I'm rocking a freaking ricochet of all things on Feast or Famine. Now, I'm just going to be firing into the middle and trying to do some damage here. We've got a Primo. And we do hit him. He's got some, some major health, guys. We do not have that same health. I'm trying to just find where people are at right now. And I don't know where that actually is. There is Bo. That is who we were kind of trying to find. We found him. Now we just need to, to kill somebody, honestly. I've got my microphone in the way. I can't hardly even play like this. But hey, it's all good. There is Bo right now. We are going to keep him on the outside. Oh, hey, inside. We got somebody inside. So Bo is doing work. 
I don't know where I'm firing. I'm just hoping hoping that I'm connecting. Ah, there's Bo. There's Bo. No, that's Primo. That is not who I want to go uh, take on right now. So Primo and Bo is the... Uh, ooh, I got my super. And I just missed all of that. Missed all of that. So we're gonna gonna hold and so Primo did see. That kind of sucks. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my God, this is so crazy. I almost, whoo. Man, almost got it. 145 hit points left on Bo. Man, that was a pretty good run with Ricochet. I'm impressed. Uh, definitely think that he has more survivability, obviously. Like, I would have died before to Primo there. Let's play one more, guys. I want to play with Ricochet again. We'll highlight the Ricochet and Brock changes. I think those are going to be your two biggest changes. I mean, obviously, Nita is going to be big, too. I'll probably cover that in a separate episode along with Jesse, and we'll talk about uh, the nerf characters. We'll look at uh, Poco a little bit as well as Mortis in that episode. But this one, I'm kind of looking at the characters uh, that got buffs here, and we want to take a look at those. So you see a lot of Brocks being used already. We've got a Brock in our lineup. They've got a Brock in there. So I'm firing right up the middle. Um, it looks like... Uh, we got a good team to go up against, so I'm going to get wrecked here, because why not? Okay, so I'm down. We are, uh, I got to figure out a better setup here for Brawl Stars videos, because I cannot play with this microphone, literally, between me and the, uh, all right, come on, come on. How do you not get a kill there? Come on, PB. How, oh my God. Okay, sweet. Sweet. I'm just going to spaz out and try to, like not suck okay so I got Brock taken care of off of the bounce but they couldn't take care of Shelly I was like just crossing my fingers like come on team you can get it um, so I'm going after Nita here who is trying to take down my Brock so we are good I'm firing all the guns um, unfortunately that is not gonna work so I gotta go after dude everybody apparently did I get why is oh wow controller just glitched out dude that's not good literally look at look at how I'm firing right now do you see that my tapping is is uh, kind of screwed so Shelly is down all of all of your base is mine or whatever um, that sucks man my controller like I had two guys at 80 HP and when I was swiping it was firing basically out of his bunghole and that's not cool you don't just fire out of your bunghole when you're when you're playing Brawl Stars because that's just not good so we got him a little bit weak. Col I didn't see Cole do anything that whole time, but it's okay. It's okay. I think we got kind of what we wanted to get figured out, figured out, which is I think Ricochet is viable. Um, I need to get in with a team and whatnot, but I wanted to bring you guys these changes right off the bat. A lot of people have been asking me about Brawl Stars lately. We've got nine minutes to get our, our matches in for uh, Smash and Grab. So I'm going to shut down the video. Go do that really quickly. Guys, tell me in the comments what you're most looking forward to and what you most dislike i guess about the latest update for brawl stars glad to see there's movement on that front at all um i knew that the the team was out of the office so you know i knew what was going on it was just still like hurting my heart because i wanted to see movement i wanted to see updates i wanted to see uh new things happening balance going on in brawl stars which is starting to get there guys so that's going to do it for this episode y'all take care we will see you guys in the next one peace out i will see you guys soon